It was just about one year ago we first brought you the story about the Potter's Hands Foundation, a nonprofit organization working to create a safe space for victims of human sex trafficking. And now, one year later, the organization has gained ground through fundraising efforts and community support to truly make their mission become a reality. But the group still emphasizes the need to bring awareness to the bigger issue. WENY's Isabel Garcia joins us live in the studio now with more information about the progress of the Potter's Hands Foundation and what they're fighting for. Isabel. Hi there, good morning, Ross and Leanne. Deb Kuhner is the founder and executive director of the Potter's Hands Foundation. She says after her daughter traveled to India to work with abused women, she became interested in helping victims in her own area. Within the past year, Deb has been connecting with friends and family for support to get this cause off the ground. The organization has since been gifted five acres of land in an undisclosed location for safety so they could build their own safe house. Victims of sex trafficking who will seek help with the group will have a chance to stay with Potter's Hands for 7 to 12 months and receive counseling services as well as help moving forward. The overall mission of the Potter's Hands Foundation is to help women who have been victims of sex trafficking or sexual exploitation, something that's a reality in every community. It's something that we believe people need to be aware of all year round. Um, you know, you can look at the news or you can kind of get on the internet and you will definitely see that it's a problem around the world, but it's definitely a problem within the United States and locally. We just want people to be aware, to have their eyes wide open, to look around and see Am I missing something? Or even, you know, kids, students in high school and middle school, if they see a friend begin to withdraw, if they see that this person may have an older guy hanging around or interested in them, it's okay to ask questions. Now, for more information about the Potter's Hands Foundation and resources for victims of human sex trafficking, go to our website at WENY.com and click on this story. For now, in the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.